say everyone good evening good morning good afternoon wherever you are because we are going to get started on this beautiful call my name is amweno tuning in from nairobi kenya i love this business because every single day i learn i learn i learn so i want to take this opportunity to introduce our very own ceo mr amin mezgalo with a heart of gold he built four multi-million uh, Canadian dollar MLM businesses as a distributor between 1990 and 2003. He founded the MLM Most Advanced MLM University, the Forensic Networker. This was in 1999. He founded the MLM's premier most prestigious MLM company, which is uh, in 2005. He was voted the world's top MLM compensation plan expert in 2010. Ramin was featured in the Networking Times and the Master Networker in 2001. He was featured on the cover of the American Business Journal with Warren Buffett in 2013. Can you imagine? He was voted the world's number two all-time MLM businessforhome.org in 2014. He was nominated for Ernest and Young Entrepreneur of the Year in 2015. Ramin was voted in MLM's first in the T Hall of Fame with Paul and the like in 2016. His company ranked top momentum company in MLM in the pandemic. Can you all remember what was happening in the year 2020? He was voted the top MLM again by Business for Home in 2020. So what does it tell us? We have a company to reckon with. This is the best of the best company. And I'd like to welcome Mr. Ramin Mezgalo to take up our call and take us with the Forensic Networker tonight. Welcome, Ramin. The floor is yours. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and good morning to you. What time is it? Three in the morning? Four in the morning? You're muted, so it's about four in the morning. It's four in the morning. Thank you. And you look like it's like nine in the morning, and you look so fresh. Thank I want to you, congratulate thank you. you again. Um, thank you for that. Um, I don't know if you're paying attention, everybody, to the to the news or what's going on. You probably are not because you're not. You just what you probably doing is watching your local news and the junk that the government narrative. Listen, when you watch your local news, remember one thing: all this stuff is mandated <clears throat> and controlled by the government because the government doesn't want the media to put out bad news it makes the government look bad right so every country is the same they can they control the media whether it's by force or by funding you know maybe in some countries it's by force maybe some countries like canada it's by funding if you're not a good boy as a media you don't get the funding i think about 690 million dollars up for grabs last year uh the trudeau gave away to the media he liked so it's the same <clears throat> so you gotta pay attention to what's going on. Uh, lots of lots of news, I'm not in the news business, but when I look at this, that's okay. So we're in the right track with a lot of things because I've known about it for a long time. Um, if you check my Instagram, I posted today, you know, basically the mandate for, um, for, for the global health mandate actually now is in effect by UN where um, they, they're going to mandate whatever mandate they want based on whatever they want. And if you don't comply, you lose all kinds of freedom. So what I'm doing now is that as an office, okay, well, how do we keep building up a border, right? There's nothing we can do about all that stuff. Again, this is someone else's world. We're all just living it. But what we can do is be prepared about it. <clears throat> so, the best thing you can do uh, moving forward is uh, two things. One, be independent, right? Be, uh, well, one thing, be independent in two ways. One, be independent on how you make money, and two, be independent on the product you need to survive. So I look at this opulence uh, opportunity. We've got like a thousand SKUs. There's a lot of use cases there, right? Lots of lots of use cases, which is great. So we've already providing a lot, your own mall, we have a concept of shop your mall, 
your own mall provides you with that opportunity to buy from your mall and not only get the best products in the world, direct access, right by fingertip, you don't have to worry about what happens on the outside world, it's your mall, right? So, and the second thing is, um, because all the attributes and use cases, it allows you to be independent you making income as well. So this is so big. You guys, uh, you don't realize it now because it's just, okay, company you join because you love the product or maybe because, oh, maybe I'll make some money. This is so much more than that. Honestly, during the pandemic, you should really realize that because how much freedom was taken away from you. So, and, and you look inside, it's like, okay, you know what? If I just start living within the framework of opulence, I'll do fine. I'll do fine. But if you're not living within the framework, using all the products and making money through opulence, then all of a sudden you're not driving the Rolls Royce on the um, on the driveway. That doesn't matter what options it brings, right? So this I stopped writing this training the other day. I said, you know, because Ted, uh, businesswoman.org, he always asked me, hey, Remy, can write me a training or an article. So I started thinking, you know, what can I write about? There's just so much I can I can write about. Then I always want to be relevant to the future. Not today, not yesterday, but the future. So, and I like to always build the industry, not, not just opulence, not just our team, but the industry. I, I want the MLM to thrive. I want it because I think it's the last bastion of free enterprise, MLM. It is, it's the last chance. It's the absolute last chance. It's not just last bash of free enterprise because it's always been that way. It's the last chance for freedom. It's an absolute last chance for freedom. And uh, that's what MLM brings. And I'm okay helping other companies to grow. I'm okay. I want to contribute to people of the world. We're here to do our part. And you know what? I will argue with anyone, anywhere, we could do more to save and help humanity than anything else out there. Because it starts with us, one of us, and then it could grow to 10,000, 100,000, right? So we could do more here than any religious gathering, any type of other business because of duplication factor here. We could really impact. And I feel like I'm doing my part to provide solutions to society in general, not just opulencers. You know, there's a lot of people who are using opulence products, uh, whether it's a fashion line or toothpaste. Uh, boy, that toothpaste is going to be, that tooth, our toothpaste can save literally, if we get it, if you do a good job promoting it to the world. And, and I'm working really hard to find, get you some tools to do that. If we do a really good job of bringing the message of the toothpaste to the world, micro silver, we can save, literally save millions of lives. Millions of lives. I mean, for the first time, I'm not sure if you guys know, for the first time in modern history, the population is on a decline. Not incline, decline. It's going down. People are dying. Uh, this is why Elon Musk was the first one from Tesla and SpaceX, he's been talking about in every interview. He says, look, we don't have a population problem escalating. We have a population de-escalating de a problem because it's going to be a population collapse, not. So we can literally save millions of lives with our toothpaste alone because fluoride is that deadly. It's that deadly. We could save tens of millions, hundreds of millions of children from getting sick because of toothpaste, because of fluoride in many things, mouthwash, showers, water, weather. So <clears throat> there's a lot that goes on in my head and I'm looking at Optimus as truly, it's not just something I said, I look at Optimus truly as a nation, truly as a, you know, entity of its own. And right now, yeah, we're stuck in this bigger thing that's a complete mess around us, right? So I'm thinking, okay, we have all these problems. How do we eliminate them one at a time from opulence nation? 
and then we get greener and green and brighter and brighter. Eventually, my target, I'm not gonna stop till we have none of the problems that the outside world has, that the outside businesses have. So one of the things is, uh, uh, one of the main attributes of a business is you making money, like you selling your product. The problem we have is that our people, I did have no business experience, up and down sales, right? Or they came from another company, and that company, I know it was a baggage, right? That baggage, they have this way that they used to from another company that didn't have any of the attributes that we have here, right? Not the attributes that we have here, not the products, no, that's not no complaint. And then they want to do the business the same way as what they did in the previous company or the traditional business or job. So, so we really need to shift our people to learn opulence, understand opulence, and then do opulence. Not another MLM company, not the Ponzi scheme they do before, not the job they used to do before, not the traditional business they used to do before. We, we need to teach our people to do opulence, to be opulence, to learn opulence, to use opulence, to promote opulence. <clears throat> And this should be such an easy thing for us to do. If you look at anything, any challenge, any problem, when you're in it, it looks overwhelming because you're kind of stuck in it, right? One thing I learned years and years and years ago is that if you want to deal with stress or challenge or problem, get yourself all of it and in your mind, look at the problem away as if you're pulling away from it, and you're looking at that problem from the outside, right? All of a sudden, the problem doesn't feel that it's a great way to relieve the stress. And now you're not in this big thing. Now the problem is just so you're here, you're watching the problem here. And all of a sudden, you can see the problem better, you have better answers. I've been using that technique for about 30 years or so. So I use this in other things. Like I look at, okay, promoting Oculus is not hard. Promoting other MLMs maybe because they don't have a lot of use cases. But promoting Oculus, it really isn't hard. So I start writing and I will, I just said, what are the top best things? There's more, there's more. But what's the top 10 ways that you should be promoting your Oculus mall and products? You shouldn't be promoting one thing, don't diminish your business to one thing, right? You can always, of course, you have somebody that you know has a certain use and you have a product, great, you can do that. But once you've done that, you sold the FOL, don't stop there. You go back, hey, by the way, have you seen this article about fluorides? You sell on the toothpaste. And by the way, are you where are you making money? <clears throat> do you make money? wearing that watch. Do they pay you for that? No. Did you know you wear all watch and get paid doing that? Right? By the way, do you know the shampoos you use? Say, I know you gotta become better guys. We have all this training, we do all this training, you just, you know, some of you guys are good. Don't get me wrong. But vast majority, we talk about why opulence shampoos, for example, is so much superior to the stuff you find outside. And we talk about all the chemicals are unsafe outside. You need to, you want to become a good business person. You want to become a good employee. You want to become a good athlete. You're not good at anything. You got to learn some skills. So why don't you become good at your opulence business? Why don't you become a good operator? What is worth it? You, you rely on this to take you out where you are. I don't care where you are in life, you're here because you wanted to take you out of that to something different, better, right? So it just makes sense to become really good operator, become a better opulencer, better operator, right? And we give you all that training, here's the best part. We give you all that training for free. How cool is that? Jim Rohn says, you know what, Jim Rohn says, you know what free is? Free is easy. That's what free is. You get online, it's free. We do the training, it's free. Multi-millionaires giving you information multiple times during the week. 
different languages, different time zones, free. So you need to become a better operator. If you run a traditional business, a mall, I don't know, a salon, a spa, pizza shop, whatever, do you want to be a really good operator and succeed, or do you want to be a really bad operator and fail? See, it's a pretty simple question, and you know the answer. Yeah, of course, I want to be a good operator. You say that, right? Of course, you're going to say that. Of course, I'll be a good operator. So let me ask you that question about opulence. Now, your opulence business. Do you consider yourself a good opulence business operator? Do you consider yourself a good email operator? Or are you a good operator in your opulence business? And if you could be honest with yourself, you're going to say, you know, not really. I haven't done my homework. I haven't learned anything. I have not. I really haven't. You would be saying that. If you're honest with yourself, you would be saying that. No, half the you know, blame goes to you, half, because you should know better. Because you wouldn't do that with anything else, right? The other half blame goes to your offline, because most likely that's where they are. And you're kind of duplicating that, that MO. I would say in MLM, you always be duplicated. The question is, what type of duplication are you getting? Is it a good duplication? A good operator duplication or a really bad operator duplication? So let's uh, talk about that. Say, so, okay, well, what is openness, right? We want an email. Okay. We're on Amazon business, basically. We're Amazon. You know, we are Amazon with some advantages. <coughs> Amazon doesn't give you any products, right? So you start on Amazon. Amazon gives you a website, it's a platform, and they give you traffic. Well, with us, um, we give a better platform than Amazon because ours is much easier, simpler. It's a lot more classier than what Amazon puts out. Um, we give you full products. When you start your Oculus business, it's preloaded with 1,000 SKUs, which, by the way, exclusive to us. Because in Amazon, you find a good product, instantly it's copied, there's a lot of problems there. Instantly it's copied, people getting it, you got 16,000 operators selling you the same exact same product, cheaper, they manipulate each other's inventory, all this stuff. We won't get into that. So we don't have any of that. We have a company, we have certain rules, we, we enforce those rules, and everybody's at peace running their, their, their email. So, now you're running a business. What's the pitch to your prospects? Why should people buy from your Oculus business and not from Amazon or from other types of businesses? The pitch is pretty simple. I just, it took me about honestly like a minute to write these 10 things. You could probably come up with 20 more. I don't think it's even necessary, but you can. So I'm going to give you 10 reasons why people should be buying from your Oculus business. And you should get really good at this, like a good operator. And this is how you pitch your people. This is how you get your customers, right? The guy who came and sold insurance, was he good at what he was doing? Of course he was. He's well-trained with his laptop and everything else. Why you should buy his insurance, right? Anybody who's trying to sell you something to a presentation, they're good at it. They're trained to do it. You need to, and we, we give you all the training. You just have to attend those training, learn it, put in practice. So the pitch is pretty simple. If I'm pitching you today, I'm gonna to give you a pitch. Ready to get pitched by me? Who wants to get pitched by me? Let me see, wake up, blow up the chat. If you want me to pitch you, let me, let me, let me see. Let me, let me see. Whoever puts it in the chat group, I'll pitch you. Who wants to get pitched? Two people? <laughs> oh, we got to be doing better. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Oh, Levy wants to pitch me. You're next. I'm coming to you, Levy. You talk. Good for you. Good leadership. I want to. I want to get your pitch. But I'm gonna pitch you first, and give you some pointers. Then you can pitch me afterwards. Wonderful. I love. I like that. By the way, that's what this call is supposed to be. This call is supposed to be interactive. I would love to see you guys participate. Come on your shell, you know, put your microphone on. Hey, this is home, this is family. No one's here to criticize you. 
you know, we're here to get better together. All right, so if I'm gonna pitch you, here's a 10 reason, but say you're my customer, right? A prospective customer. I'm gonna tell you about how I start my own online business. I'm gonna uh, spread a lot across Canada with these exclusive products, and we're gonna help millions of people. And you're gonna say, well, how are you gonna do that? Well, because we're just better than anything else is out there. Well, what makes you so much better, Ramin, than it was out there? But here's my 10 reasons why. Number one, we just have better products. Now, one thing you guys are good at is that. You, you really know how to, we, we see how much products you guys sell. So that part you're good at. You're very good, at least on some of the products. You should be good at all the products because the easiest person to sell to guys, this is a fact, comes from a sales or um, profession. The easiest people to sell to is the people who already bought from you once already. So when you sell them something, then you go back to the second product and the third product, because you have to like and trust. And they like the first product, say they like their FOL, you go with toothpaste because they have the experience there. Oh, they'll try the toothpaste too. Oh, I like that too. You go back with the shampoos and so forth. So you go back and, and promoting that next product. So first reason why you should buy my product, because we've got better products. It's got dozens of patterns on them. Can't find it anywhere. And uh, these are pro life changing products. And whether product you're interested in from, you know, toothpaste or F1, whatever, then you talk about that product, make a sale, you go back, next product, make a sale, go back, next product, make a sale. First thing, we have better products. Everybody agrees to that, so we don't have to get into that. Number two, I bring you the product. You don't have to go to the store and get it. So once you love the product, it gets delivered directly to you. So, you know, it's better than what 99% of people do, which is go to the store to buy the shampoos, to buy the toothpaste, to buy the whatever, right? That's what people do. They go to the store and buy the stuff. No, we bring it directly to you. That's number two. It comes to you, to your home. There's a lockdown, doesn't matter. You're getting it anywhere. Number three, everything we sell you, it comes with the world's best warranties and guarantees. Who does that? Nobody does that. Like what, you go buy your shampoos and toothpaste and all this stuff you buy, is it guaranteed with that? No, it's warranted, no, it's nothing. But we're giving you every product we have comes with the world's best, you know, warranties and guarantees. You know, the, the customer, so that's all part of the customer service, right? where you can go back and get hurt. You know, even designer lines, they don't have that. Like if you take any designer line, let's talk about watches, they all give you one year, right? Uh, guarantees on that, we give you three. Now we say three, but we've really, you know, we might as well say 20, they don't break, right? So all our guarantees are the absolute best. And we give you that. So anything you buy from me, from my shampoos, toothpaste, my health product, my fashion line, my personal care, anything you, and skincare line is 100% guaranteed. Just call me, just call me. How good is that? You don't get that from the store. You don't get that from boutique, right? You don't get that from Amazon. Just try to get customer service, you just don't get that. Number four, here, we give you the full information. When you go buy stuff from the store, Okay, you may buy it because you want something, but who is that to give you information? There's nobody. Who can say, hey, can you tell me about the shampoo? There is no such thing. So through us, Opulence, you're going to get full information on every product that we sell. Providing you're a good operator, right? That means you must know your product. Become a good operator. Trust me, people want to spend money. They have a lot more confidence knowing that they can get information. They can get answers. Imagine. The person who's selling you everything, they're on your speed dial. It's a great attribute. Talk about it. Call me if you need anything. Be a good operator. That's what you would expect if you bought stuff from someone else. That someone says, call me if you need anything. Right? That's a good operator. You're running a mall. And somebody says, well, I don't be called. Listen, you know, we're talking about a good operator versus not a good operator, right? You want to make a little money, do whatever you do, that's fine. You do it. You just make a consumer, that's fine. Then you buy them all so you can buy the product at wholesale. It's a good move. It's a good move. Because for the rest of your life, you're getting the best products at wholesale. Great. 
Nobody else does that. Louis Vuitton doesn't allow for that. Uh, no, Rolex doesn't allow for that. We do. You, you launch with us. You got your email. You get up to 30% off. Smart buy, 40, 38% off. No other luxury brand or anyone else allows you to do that. We do that. If that's what you got in, you bought your LAP just so you can get wholesale pricing, great. Wonderful. But if you want to make money, you want to be a good operator. That means you join these trainings and you read in the back office, prospect book, read everything, question everything, become a really good operator to a point that your team looks at you and says, hey, I want to be just like them. Because you know so much, they want to know so much. People are impressed by people who know, right? You're always impressed by somebody who knows everything. Become that person. Become that person that if you know everything. And people are very impressed with that. So again, the, you know, the third reason was one, again, this fourth reason, you get better information from opulence, better training than anyone else. You know, if you buy retail, there is no training or information, period. You pick it up, hopefully you like it, you don't like it, you don't try it again, and you lost your money, right? That's essentially what everybody lives into because there's nobody on the speed dial to call. You go to a grocery store, and then you bought 30 items, and you don't like 15 of them, who are you going to call? Nobody to call. But here, they call the person, speed dial, and listen, I have a problem with this, tell me about this. How great is that? Number five, you get a better variety here in Opulence. No the MLM companies have a variety, nobody. And wait, they don't make anything. They sell other people's products. Doesn't even count. That's not even their product. We make everything we have is our products exclusive to you. Your email is exclusive. Imagine that. There's not a company in the world, I think, that does what we do. So now you've got this full variety. Imagine how many use cases. Now we got this thing called 30 use cases per day. Each day, there's 30 things that you need. Everybody needs, everybody. And we have, not as more use cases, but we have 30 of us. On one use case, you can make money. Imagine 30 use cases. So get that document, it's got 30 use cases. You give that to all your prospects. Here, these are 30 things you do every day. The question is, do you get paid doing it? You know, are you getting the best products possible? Of course they're not. So you give them that, and they look at the 30 use cases, about well, I'd like to try this, I'd like to try this, like a menu, right? I'd like to try this, I'd like to try this, I'd like to try this. Use your tools. You have all these things available to you. So much, much more variety through opulence than any other company that could, they could join. I mean, I can go on Amazon and get more stuff there, but then Amazon doesn't give you any of this, right? Everything else you've talked about, better information, warranties and guarantees, you know, the products, you know, best products in the world, doesn't exist. Number six, referral program. Here, as a VIP, when you refer other people, you get free products, how good is that? You tell your customers, what you should buy from me because I know you're gonna love our product. And when you refer to family and friends, guess what? You get free products. How would you like to get your shampoos? You never have to pay for shampoos again. How would you like to get free skincare line? How would you like to get free fashion? How would you like to get free points and buy fashion stuff? Who doesn't want that? It's like air miles, right? Everybody spending all this money on gas or whatever to collect points. But we're giving them 30 use cases they already use anyways. They buy from outside, just not getting any points. Now to us, you get better products. And now they can get free points. You get free products. Referral program, free products. Number seven, resell program. Amazon does not allow you to do that. So not only you love the product as a customer, you got free products, you can refer it. All of a sudden, you could be me. You can launch your own email. And now you have the license to resell these products and make up to, you know, what is it, uh, 63%? Retail profits on a thousand SKUs of products. And I know in some countries, uh, you guys are making a lot more because I've seen some of the retail prices on some people, some of your countries, like you're charging what, $92 US for an FOL. And, and, and that's like what, 130 Canadian. And I was like, you know, it's like, uh, I can I see what you guys are doing, right? We know what you guys are selling for. That's over 100% profit. 
I mean, good for you. Do it. I mean, I, I, because I think F4 is so grossly underpriced. You can get away with it because it's grossly underpriced. But the point is this. When you buy from me, not only are you going to get a lot of, you know, get best products in the world. You're going to have me on your speed dial and information, best warranties in the world, all of that stuff. And when you refer to people, you get free products. How good is that? Your grocery store doesn't allow for that. So, and once you get to love all these products, guess what's going to happen? You have a shot. You got a chance to start your own business and resell these products. It's a great pitch, right? I mean, there is reason after reason after reason that your customer should buy. Because look, look all the reasons you're giving them. They're buying outside, you're getting none of this. It's not that not buying our stuff. Look, we're not one of those companies that have one product. And these guys, well, I'm not using that anyways. Everything we have, we have to go, it's called the 30 use cases, right? They're already buying this stuff. They're already wearing shoes, they're already wearing bags. They already have skincare cream or something. They already have something that health products and shampoos, toothpaste. They're doing this stuff already. It's just that they're not buying it from your mall. They're not getting any of these attributes. Become a good operator. Tell them why they should buy from you. Of course, once they fall in love with the products, because everybody does products they use that they love, right? They may buy it from store. You guys have products you buy from outside you love. The problem is when you use it and repair, you don't get paid. But that doesn't happen here. Here, you replace that product with another product that you love, even better. But then when you refer it, as a VIP, you get free products. As an email operator, you get money. You make money. Next thing you know, some host of profits are to profits, but it turns into a business. Next thing you know, that business is generating more money than your job. Then all of a sudden, your job goes away. You become a full-time operator. You basically retire working from home. Next thing you know, for some of you, your lifestyle goes higher and higher and higher, better car, better home, better vacation. And for a few of you, you go to a place you never imagined possible, become a millionaire, multimillionaire. And we've done all this right now, because it's not like it hasn't happened here. So, but had they put this way, had Renelia bought all the stuff that we sell from the store, which he could, not the same brand, but he could. Here we are 15 years later, what would he be? <clears throat> he will have used the same things every day, except he would still be working at TELUS as a programmer. And he will have never experienced anything he experienced here. He has never had life's full menu, never had any of those. So he will have bought the same thing had Rene Leon not joined us, had Reza not joined us, and all these other people. Yes, up, you guys. If these guys not joined us and they will still have to buy these 30 use cases, right? because we need them every day. They would still be buying them from someone else's mall and still be where they are, the job or whatever they're at. Instead, when they decided, I'll take my 30 use cases from Opulence and I'm gonna promote it. And that led to, that led to quitting his job because Within 10 months or a year, he was making like 20 grand a month, something like that. And then here we are 15 years later as a multimillionaire using the same 30 use cases. So you're going to do it anyways. You're going to, you're going to buy from your people, your customers, your family, your friends, your neighbors. They're doing this anyways. They're just not getting the best product or best warranty or best service, you know, free products, no opportunity to... The no license to resell. They're just not getting any of that. Maybe you should take this link and send it to your customers or friends. Listen, this explains why I'm doing this business. I want you to listen to this. And now you're going to learn a lot, right? And, and most likely by listening to this, because, hey, you know, I want to try some of that stuff. Because if I like it, maybe I'll become like you. Maybe I'm going to start referring, or maybe I can just want my product, product for free. Hey, if I can get my 30 use cases for free, Right? I'll buy from you. Right? I don't need to go buy from my local store. That's number seven, resale program. It's a business. Number eight, global reach. I mean, there's stuff you can buy from store, right? And then your cousin in another country says, hey, I want that. Like, how do you send it to them? You got to buy it, package it, and send it to them. How much work is that? 
And do not all that work. Do you make any money? Do you get any free products? No. So here, your cousin in California, in Mozambique, in Kenya, or Nairobi, what? All of a sudden, company drop ship. You did nothing. You did. You went to back office. Boom, done. They love it, right? And if you're a VIP, you get free products, you get points. If you're a distributor, you operator, they buy. You make more money. So they, you got to become a good operator, right? You got to like really know how to pitch your business. Number eight, global reach. So all of a sudden. Now you couldn't dial your family and friends worldwide fast enough, right? There's 10 reasons why your friends and family, neighbors should listen to you. Give them the pitch. Now, I'm gonna give you this training. You have to practice, practice, practice. You become really good at it eventually. And it's a compelling case. Why? They're already buying the 30 use cases already and they've done it for the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years, entire lifetime. That, didn't give him any of this. You're already doing it. You give him any of this. So I said, listen, you've been doing this for all your life. You didn't get anything like this. Why don't you next two years buy it from me and start collecting on all this and see how it goes. You're doing it anyways, but use my mall instead. Better products, better warranty. You're going to have your own speed dial. Refer, get free products. Hey, listen, you want to become like me? You could boom quickly. Within five minutes, you become an operator, build globally, start making money right away. The company has warranties of guarantees, the best in the world. The company drop ships everywhere in the world. You can't do it with Amazon. But you know, at the end of the day with Amazon, you have to buy the product, ship it to Amazon, right? You have to buy the products, package it, all that stuff, ship it to Amazon, provide it with the guarantees, warranties, all these documents that you need. All this stuff is done here. You don't have to do any of that. Number nine, drop shipping. And number 10, better promotions. Like we have some crazy promotions here, right? Great promotions. You know, we do, we call build assist. Of course, we give you the promotion as operators. You should use this free stuff and give it away, right? I know you guys don't do that. And all of you guys just keep it, but don't do that. We give you a promotion, you didn't pay for it. That means you use that promotion, give it away to find more customers. I'm really, really passionate about saving the children. I'm telling you, if you guys follow me, you know, for 25 years, I do a lot for kids, like charity, a lot. We got a couple of orphanage homes now. They're growing. You know, the latest one we did, the one in Uganda, the kids were getting sick and uh, they said, we need to send to doctors. Well, what do you need done? You know, the, I got all these pictures and they're getting, they're getting all tested and all these things. So now the story that came out that fluoride is hurting the children's IQ. We're talking billions of kids are subject to, forget about adults, of course, we're all subject to it, right? But adults should know better. That adults should know better. They should never be falling for this. You should read back off what the adults should know better. But the kids don't know better. The kids are told by the adults, go brush your teeth twice a day. And these kids grow and they become sick and they don't know why they're sick. Just like some of you guys may have some sick. Everyone's got something now. They don't know why. Oh, I guess I'm getting old. They don't know why these illnesses are happening. It's half, some of it we know why. And the biggest bombshell came out about fluoride, which probably we've been telling you about this for years. We came up with a toothpaste years ago based on the same premises, same reasons. It just happened now because of the lawsuit and the judge decided the information has to get out. So we can, let me take this somewhere else a little bit. Everything we talked about right now is for your benefit and the benefit of your customer. And, and those are compelling reasons, big reasons why we should promote opulent products like crazy. It should become a mission to you. It should become a life mission to you. It should become your calling. It should become your calling. Why? Because the products are better than what's out there. This, the products, our products don't hurt people like the current stuff. So it should be calling. If you like helping people, if you love giving to 
to the, to the world, to the people, to your country, then opulence is a great calling because it replaces products that are toxic and not good. It gives people an opportunity to work for themselves, make money, a light at the end of the tunnel that the country doesn't give to anybody, right? It, so we have a great offering to the people of the world. And I believe we should do our part, all of us. I've been that way for a long time and that's why we do a lot of charity and stuff. But I can tell you as much as we do for that, and there were times I had like 13 different causes at one time, we can do more in one day with our police products than my entire lifetime of charities, all of them combined. We could do more good for the world in one day with opulence products worldwide, just removing fluoride from people's homes. Imagine that all of us said, now that we know this, this toxic thing has been making kids sick and killing people, what if we just said, this can't happen on my watch? This cannot happen in my, in my friend's household, my neighbors, in my country, my city, my family. Can't happen. My job is to bring the information out. No, they may not do it. That's fine. But my job is to bring the information out. Tell everybody. Show them the link. Hey, did you know about this? Look at this. Did you know fluoride does this? No, I didn't know. Did, now, you're gonna, with knowing not what you know now, you're going to let your kids put that poison in their mouth tonight? No. Good. Good. I'm going to give you a sample. So we have this massive campaign coming out. I'm, I'm calling it Save the Children. Fluoride free. Um, uh, fluoride free. We can name them now. But basically it's a, it's a Save the Children. Because now we know because of the law, the lawsuit, 50 plus studies was done on this by different universities, different scientists, that, and they all came to the same conclusion. Fluoride lowers IQs, hurts children. Now, that's just one thing they focused on. Fluoride does a lot more damage than that. It, other studies show it's directly linked to diabetes too, directly linked to all kinds of things, right? So knowing what we know, why don't we just say, I'm going to do my part. I'm going to help you do that. We're going to come up with this promotion where within that promotion, when you buy that, you get a bunch of free samples. And your job is put upon yourself that I'm going to rid 25 households around me of fluoride. That one thing alone. Of course, then you're going to have repeat customers, right? I and mean, now 25, then you go back to the next product, next year they buy your FOL, next thing you know, they're buying your shampoo. Now, of course, you're building a business, but your mission up front is save the children, that no child in the world should be putting fluoride in the mouth ever again, knowing what you know. But we gotta do our part for the environment. Let's do our part for, for people, for health. Let's do our part you know, for humanity. Let's do our part for clarity, for give people the right information. People shouldn't be sick because they were deceived into it. And pretty much everything you consume at a grocery store these days, including your meat, is full of hormones, antibiotics, things that are not good for you. You already know all this stuff. You do it anyways. Now, there are things we, don't, we can't control. Like in our business, we don't sell meat. Okay, fine. I suggest you find a way to buy the meat that's organic and not the stuff, not the stuff that's you know in the grocery store. But there's some things we don't have control over because we don't make it. But there's 30 use cases that we do have control over that we're going to use and we're going to share. We're gonna do our part. We're gonna do our part. How about that? Doing our part. How about that? Giving back, giving to society. When we leave, we can say, you know, deathbed, we did our part. However that was, we did our part. 
I saved, I tried, I saved. If you're somebody like Rene Liao, it's got what, what 15,000? I don't even know how many it's got. 30,000, 50,000, I don't know. But that is a, that's a loss. Because a lot, all those people are not using our great products, right? Of course, he's a multimillionaire. Now he should be. The whole concept of making money, value, your value, my value. One thing I learned earlier, earlier on in life was you get paid the value you bring to the marketplace. Ramin's value is not what mom said or what he thinks of himself. No. Ramin's value is the value that he brings to the marketplace. And by bringing value to the marketplace, then I guess Ramin's value goes up. So if you happen to be, you know, have a team of, you know, two, fine, you started bringing value to two other people, right? If your team becomes 20, you bring more value. Becomes 200, more value. 2,000, more value. 20,000, more value. So as you bring in more value, I'm telling you, our products are the easiest products in the world to bring value. We just have a bombshell story. The world is dying on this chemical and we have the solution. Oh my God. It's just, I, I, I have a hard time to believe because when I was on the field, we used to look at all these articles, anything that could, because we sold this herbal product, right? herbal drink, anything that said one of our herbs was in some, we, we printed those documents, it was in our dream book and we sold our products based on these stories, right? And now we know the world uses a product twice a day minimum that's killing them. And it's out now. And we are, and we are the one of the few have a solution and just happened that we have the absolute best solution. And that's in your mall. And you have a cousin, you have a brother, you have a sister, you got children, and they're gonna brush their teeth tonight. Can you sleep? Knowing what you know, can you really go to sleep knowing what you know? That your family, you have kids and they, they're putting that poison in their mouth, which by the way, in the back of the toothpaste says it's poison. So I feel good about a lot of things in my life and it has nothing to do with material stuff, nothing, zero, zero. That's only good for first little while, you know? Once you get it, it's nice, and then it becomes ordinary. The things I feel good about is the testimonials. Doesn't matter what country I go to, doesn't matter where I'm at. All I hear is amazing testimonials on a product. And that's what makes me feel good. Amazing fulfillment. That's a good word, fulfillment. I don't think anything higher than fulfillment. And that's what should drive you in your opulence business. If you got a customer that's to say, listen, I tried this product, and it's just, it changed my life, it's amazing, help me. Wow, that's fulfillment. That's a good word, put that in the chat. Fulfillment, I think it covers everything. It's better than happy, it's better than laughing, it's better than good times. Fulfillment is everything. Being able to give, you know why you feel fulfilled? Because you're doing your part. You did your part on that one testimonial. Now imagine if you have 25, we put a little target together, 25 households. I'm gonna read 25 households of fluoride. Not one thing alone, one thing alone. Knowing three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, you're gonna to talk to these people. I'm still using that toothpaste. We love it, fulfillment. Of course, if you're a good operator, you're making money on this for 25 years from now, and you've got them to try all your products, because now that you've got like and trust with that one product, now they're open to get the second product. They're loving that, you go back to the third product, because now they trust you. And you're not selling them something extra. They're already buying it somewhere else. The 30 use cases, right? The audio, so you go look at the 30 use cases okay, and look at that and say, you know what? The 30 use cases, we sell all of them and my friends are using all of them. Everybody has these 30 use cases. 
there's more. We don't have more. Maybe you have rule 30. You guys can come up with that. But like they don't sell food. Fine. We can't help them there. But we have these 30 use cases that everybody uses. I should be calling everybody I know. Like, why are you using this use case from the store? From, why from my mall? Here's the 10 reasons. I just give you. Here's the 10 reasons why you should buy this use case from my mall and not your regular mall. So what do you got to do? What's your homework? Get the 30 use cases, right? It's your back office, right? Study it. Become a good operator. Study, study, study. Become good at it, right? And then you call everybody one at a time. And why you buy this use case from this for your mall? Why you buy from my mall? Why should I buy from your mall? Here's the 10 reasons why you should buy from my mall. I'm telling you. They're going to be impressed by you, first of all. It's like, damn, he knows his stuff. Like, she knows her stuff. I, because they're not getting that right now from the store, the mall they're buying it from, right? They're not. They're just going to kind of pick it off the shelf, right? There's no one to call and understand. You know, there's, there's not, no one to ask questions. But you are such a good operator, or you will be. Hey, listen, here's my number. Call me, text me, anything. You have a question, let me know. If I don't know the answer, I'll get it for you. Wow. You mean I can get this type of customer service? Buying the stuff I already buy? I don't get that from my mall. I don't get that from my store. I don't get it from anybody. But now I can buy it from Maria's mall, Opulence Mall. And I got her my speed dial. Ask anything. Well, it's great to know that. But see, Maria has to be good enough to say, here's the 10 reasons why. You should shop my mall and not your mall. You can get so creative with this. So creative with this. So remember earlier I said you take a situation that challenge you, you come out of it and you look at it from the outside. And when you do that, all of a sudden it looks very small. They can clearly see what it is. Here's what I did. I look at open spaces from the outside. So you know what? Our pitch is not hard at all. Our pitch is so easy. It's so simple. So if the pitch is simple and we're not doing it, then that means we're not good operators, right? That means we're not good operators. So 10 reasons why you should buy my product. We got the best products in the world. We just got better products, period. We come to you, we bring it to you. No problem. Warranties and guarantees. Who are you gonna call when you don't like the product you buy from the store? Nobody. I'm on your speed dial. Call me. Better information, better training. How many times you buy anything, you don't know how to really use it, right? Or you don't use it properly. Now with me, I'll tell you how to use a skincare. I'll tell you how to use a spray. I'll tell you the reason why you should use the toothpaste. How I foil works. I'll tell you all that. The new mouthwash, the candles, whatever, right? Lots of risk cases there. Bit of variety. We got 30 use cases. Here's a brochure. You use them all, right? They're going to look at it. Yeah, I use every single one because they do. Let me ask you something. Do you get paid using that? What do you mean? What if you had used the same 30 use cases, you get free products and get paid doing it? Would you like to, would you be interested in that? Okay, tell me about it. Your dream book. Show them the plan, right? What a way. You be, you're a good operator. It's, the pitch is not hard. Opulence pitch is not hard. Other companies are hard. They sell one product or whatever. It's a Ponzi scheme, but... It's just all about hype, hype, hype. They don't have substance. They have to do that. We have lots of substance. We got 30 daily use cases that everybody uses and you just got a better solution. That's an easy pitch. How about a referral program? Do you get free products when you use your stuff from the store? No, I don't use free products. I don't get free products. If you refer other people, do you get free? No, I don't get. Well, here's what you do. Here, use my products. You love it. When you refer, I give you free products. Good deal. How about resell? What if all you, you get these free products and then all of a sudden you refer the people and the next year they're buying it constantly from me. I'm making all the money. And then you say, you know what? Why is my friends and stuff, you know, making all, uh, buying from you, making all the money? So why don't I like free products? Why don't I become a mall? Ah, oh, you could become just like me. You could become a mall. Does your, the product you buy from outside, does it allow you to do that? To resell it? No. But you buy from Amazon, that allow you to resell that? No. 
No, they don't. Here, you do. Dropship program. You all know people all over the world. You're gonna try these products to change your life. You're gonna pick up phone, and you're gonna message a text message or WhatsApp message your friend in, in California. They place an order, gets drop shipped, boom, free products for you. You like that? Then you answer something. Who do you know that's suffering from all this? Do, 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 do. You know the use cases we have. Oh yeah, my grandmother, this type of, great. Why don't you call them up, get them to try the product, 100% money back guarantee, it gets drop shipped to them, you get free products and I get money. Good deal. You get free products, I make money. Who allows, like nobody else has these things, guys. I mean, nobody else has these type of attributes. Better promotions. We have crazy promotions here. Constantly. On the products you already love, you already paid for it. And all of a sudden, you have to pay less or you get free stuff, don't pay for it at all. Everybody loves promotions. So, yeah. So the pitch is not that hard. You just have to become a better operator. All right. Make sense? You love it? Is it good or great? So it's time to get, become a better operator. Let's open up the lines. If any, hey, listen, you have any comments? If you have any questions, if you want to give me uh, your pitch. Who was it, Levy? Levy earlier on said, so you want to give me a pitch? I got you, buddy. Get on. Give me a pitch. Yeah, Levy, that's it. Yes, Levy, you're on. <laughs> hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, Levy. Hello, sir. I mean, um, Yes, very, very exciting call. And uh, I'm very excited about uh, the 30 cases. Um, it's awesome, very awesome. Um, we all need to, you know, have a better pitch in order to, you know, get the result we are all looking for. So, okay, I'm going to try to pitch you <laughs> and uh, we'll see how, how I do. <laughs> okay, go. All right, so. Nowadays, you know, uh, people uh, reach a step in their life in which they, uh, they are in the chasm. So uh, they find themselves in need of something sustainable, something affordable, something reliable uh, in their everyday uses, and uh, something that gives them inspiration, innovation, energy, and uh, something that help them grow every day. And uh, you know what? Uh, we have just that. Uh, with Opulence Global, uh, we have innovative uh, business model that will definitely help every entrepreneur out there to, to scale their revenue, as well as people who are looking for, you know, long-term benefit health products uh, that are going to, you know, help their life better their condition in so many ways. Uh, people who are looking to look great, to look better, to look younger, to look stronger, uh, we do have that. People who are looking to, you know, to have the, the great fashion lines uh, available in the world, uh, we have that. So with Opulence Global, we offer the best of the best. Uh, and uh, you're definitely going to have something that you need, something that is required for you to grow, required for you to to be energetic, to be healthy, to fight all the COVID uh, affection and pollution, and something as well is going to help you build a long life residual income in a, in a very involving world. So, um, you know, uh, don't wait. Uh, the time is now, you should take action and I invite you to, you know, uh, to follow me in my email and I will be glad to introduce to you all the products that we have, as well as the business opportunity that are available for you. Actually, you're pretty, pretty smooth at this thing. And that's more of a business approach. It's a great pitch. It's absolutely a great pitch. So people can use this to their personality. Like you're very good at this. And uh, you know, I'm a business guy too. You know, so that you you approach it from a business standpoint. Um I think uh, there's some people say, you know what, I'm going to approach it from a um, charity standpoint where I, I just want to do my part for the world. 
I'm passionate about this, these products, mm -hmm. because I know what it can do for people. Like, for example, in Uganda, uh, one of the things they were asking me for, because uh, the kids were having some charities and stuff like that, and, you know, uh, money so they can go buy dental, like, toothpaste stuff, right? No, I yeah. think I'd rather, I think I'd rather uh, give them, you know, it's expensive, it's costing us, whatever, but I'd rather give them uh, our products, because they can't buy it there, than them going spend money to buy fluoride for a, to put a poison in the kid's mouth. The whole idea is to make these people better, not to make it worse. I will not contribute to that. So you can come up from a charity's point of view. You can come come through from a health point of view. You know, I just want to help the world heal. You know, everyone's sick. Everyone's got something. And I'm really proud of this company. I'm really proud of my business. And my mission in life, you didn't have to approach it from the business standpoint. My mission in life, why, why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm calling you, because my mission in life is to have, help as many people as I can, do my part, do, do as much as I can, as many people as I can, and improve their life, in, in, improve their health, right? You don't have to even reach out to them for a business, like they have a business, they know you do because you're selling it, but you can come out, you know, it's like, I, I met, you know, when you meet the artists, they don't say, hey, listen, buy my product because it's a good business. They say, look, I'm passionate about drawing. That's why I do this. Of course, they're selling it, right? But I'm passionate about drawing. I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about that, right? The, so re come, you can come from the passion side of things. And of course, nobody cares about you selling a product. They care about you. Maybe they're buying you first. They're buying you first, lack and trust before the product. So we are passionate about something and they'll buy your product because they want to support you. They want to be with you because they believe you. They got, you got to like and trust for them. So there's many ways. That's why I talk about you got to become a good operator, right? Being a good operator doesn't mean that you memorize one pitch, right? You can do that, but then you keep on evolving. Keep on evolving to a point that you know now that the type of person you're talking to by asking a few questions, you know what they're interested in, what's important to them, mm -hmm. what's their hot button. You know, somebody like you may want to make more money. I know what your hot button is. Maybe someone else says, hey, you know what? I have some health issues. I know what they are. By asking questions, I know what their hot button is. Some people, they just love, you know, helping other people. Then I know what's their hot button. So now you become so good at it that you can instantly, you know, devise a pitch that that presses on their hot buttons. And uh, so, yeah. And I'm, like I said, opulence, because we have so many use cases, I think it's the easiest, absolutely easiest pitch in the world. Because you're not asking him to add something external to their life. What you're saying is, why don't you replace your 30 use cases with mine and here's the 10 reasons why you should do it, which includes best warranties and guarantees and satisfaction guarantees and all of that. So, and I don't, so I think that is the easiest pitch in the world. I agree. <laughs> Thank you for that, Levy. I like, I like your leadership for stepping up. Anyone else, anyone else wants to uh, share? Yes, we have uh, someone else, Arnold. Arnold, please, we have allowed you to talk. Hello, Arnold Mavala. You have a question or comment? Hello, Arnold, can you hear me? Or was it by mistake? Looks like it was by mistake because I've asked him to unmute. Hello, Arnold. I think it was by mistake. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, our CEO, Mr. Amin Mezgalo, for those great nuggets. That was such a reminder. The chats are blowing up because those are great reminders to all of us. Shop our mall. We actually have uh, solutions to everyone for everyone in the world. It just depends on how we how we pitch. So thank you, thank you so much for that uh, great sharing.
I'm sure all the partners are excited because you can see the chat is blowing up. We, uh, Maria is saying you can create your own travel kit at home. Great session. Thank you. Everybody's thanking you for job well done. So we 